The Brookfield Floating Bridge is really about the gateway to the community and it's about historic preservation. It's about this story that started in 1820 and has lasted throughout the years. The bridge had a lot of challenges and also a lot of opportunities. One of the things that we needed to do was incorporate ADA requirements, which meant that the sidewalks had to be wider and the railings had to be taller so that everyone can enjoy the Brookfield Floating Bridge. In addition to that, we had to stay within the right-of-way. That's really important because staying within the right-of-way allows us to expedite project delivery. And then finally, we really wanted a structure that was going to last 100 years. The previous bridge structures had very short design lives, and that's because a lot of times the materials that they use would get waterlogged and the bridge would sink into the water. So really, we were looking for an innovative material that would be able to sort of withstand lots of different types of forces. Ultimately, we went with something called fiber reinforced polymer. Fiber reinforced polymer, or FRP, can withstand sunlight, it can withstand forces, it's very durable, it's also very flexible, so we can mold it to any shape that we need to, and it's something that will last the length of time. The advantages of the composite solution are the durability of the fiberglass. The fiberglass is corrosion resistant, it doesn't break down, it doesn't rust. The entire volume of the, each pontoon is filled with a flotation foam, which is a closed cell foam. So even if some water should get in because of some unexpected damage, then the structure will still stay afloat. With that hard exterior shell protecting the foam, the foam itself can't be exposed to any damage or environmental conditions. It does stay in place during the winter and even though there's no traffic at that time, it has to resist the ice loading and the fiberglass does that very well. So even though we used a really innovative material, it was really about historic preservation. It's the wood decks, it's the wooden sidewalk and it's the wooden rail and that's really what people see and that's what people love about the Brookfield Floating Bridge. So it's kind of how historic preservation meets innovation to deliver this project that's going to be long-lasting.